growing up, um, so I'm a Brooklyn girl, and uh, growing up, of course, I listened to BLS. And one of the people that I listened to the most um, was at night when I was supposed to be going to bed for school. I would listen to Champagne because I thought she had the best voice ever. So that was my go-to at night when I was supposed to be going to sleep for school. I was listening to you, Champagne. Um, and uh, I think that was pretty much my go-to person. And then um, uh, when uh, Wendy came back to New York, I started, of course, listening to her for all of her juicy gossip and all, all the good, all, all that stuff that she would talk about back then, so yeah. Well, as far as listening to Champagne, it was her voice. Her voice was so soothing and just relaxing. And like I said, I should have been going to sleep, but I didn't go to sleep because I just wanted to, to kind of sound like her and be like Champagne, because everything about her was just, you know, nice and sexy. I mean, it was, it was at night, so yes. Mm -hmm. So a year before I started BLS, which is maybe, I want to say 2005-ish maybe, uh, Wendy Williams dropped her first book. And um, I forgot the name of it. Someone sold that book, by the way. Uh, but she dropped her first book. She had this signing in Brooklyn. I live in Brooklyn. It was at Bed-Stuy at the Aquaba Mansion in Bed-Stuy. So she had her signing. I went to the signing with a, a homeboy of mine, MG. And when we got up to, uh, when it was time for me to have my book signed by Miss Wendy Williams, I couldn't talk. I couldn't talk because she was the ultimate radio personality at the time, um, even now. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, Wendy Williams. So he was like, uh, so yeah, this is Wendy, this is my girl, um, Ife. She, she's in radio and she really enjoys listening to you. And Wendy's looking at me. And I just was just staring at her like a deer in headlights. And she, you know how Wendy has those, those big eyes. So she's just looking at me and I'm looking crazy. So finally my homeboy says, Ethan, talk to her. I still didn't say anything. So that was my first time meeting Wendy Williams. A year later, I ended up at BLS working as a board op on, um, for BLS and WLIB at the time. And um, so my first time seeing Wendy, of course, my first thought was, hopefully this lady doesn't think, doesn't remember that I'm the, the crazy chick that didn't know how to talk when I'm supposed to be someone that's in radio. So that was 2000, December 2006, when I started at WBLS. So you never know, you know? You know, you meet your, somebody that you enjoy listening to and then a year later you're working at that very station and then um, maybe two years later or a couple years later um, I started doing liners voiceovers for the quiet storm once um, Von Harper the legendary rest in peace Von Harper um, uh, was gone so I was doing that for a while and then uh, I left I was I was laid off I was laid off um, uh, in 2000, I don't remember. I have, they uh, killed me and brought me back to life, guys, maybe about three times. So uh, this is like my third time here at VLS and my third time around, I am now a DJ slash, you know, host. So that's where I'm at now.